Well, we are here with producer Charlie because we're talking all the movies that are making headlines right now, and he's going to let us know what we maybe need to uh, add to our watch list. Absolutely. So, Charlie, talk to me. What are we getting into? Okay, first up, the movie of, let's be honest, the year. Everybody has been anticipating this. Yes. Deadpool and Wolverine's finally here. I've heard so much about oh it, but I'm ready gosh. to hear your thoughts. Absolutely love it. Yeah? Yep. The Merc with the Mouth is back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you heard it here first, guys. Right. Okay, what can viewers expect from this? I mean, I, can't, I don't want to spoil it. Okay, yeah, no spoilers. It, this is spoiler free. I'm not okay. going to spoil anything. We appreciate that. Of For course. those that haven't seen it. Because I was like, I stayed off Twitter and everything before I went and saw it because I was like, I've not seen it. So one you didn't spoiler. have anything ruined for you? No. And okay. let me tell you, go into it blind. Fantastic. You will not be disappointed. I have to ask if you haven't seen the other Deadpool movies, mm -hmm. do you have to see those? I would say not over entirely because, I mean, this is the first mo movie where Deadpool is introduced into the MCU. Which is so, and the, so exciting. Right, and this is also the MCU's first R-rated movie. Ooh, the first. spicy, spicy. And it's not the last, too. Ooh. Because I heard that Blade will be an R-rated movie as well. Okay. So. How do you think the performances were from? Oh. From your men. No, I mean, it's what you expect. Yeah. They're amazing. I mean, well Hugh Jackman's back as the Wolverine. And for any Logan fans out there, it does not undo that movie. Okay, good. At all. Good, so good, good. they leave that storyline alone. And Kevin Feige even told Hugh Jackman, he's like, he, he advised against reprising Wolverine because Logan had the greatest ending of all time, in his words. Okay. So they made sure that Logan they was untouched. They wanted to honor yes. that. Okay. Yeah. And so Hugh and Ryan are back as their characters. Oh, gosh. Um, yeah. And this also introduced Emma Corrin as uh, Cassandra Nova. Oh, okay. She's kind of our big bad for this movie Ooh. as well. Mm, okay. Um, and so mid-2022, yeah. uh, this movie almost didn't actually happen, though. Why? So um, Sean Levy, the director, yes. and Ryan Reynolds, they kind of were with the writers, and they were having a hard time figuring out the storyline on how to introduce Deadpool into the movie, I mean, into yeah. the MCU, yeah. you know, especially after Fox is, was acquired by Disney. Yeah. And they are actually getting ready to go to Feige and say, we don't think this movie can we're happen. We're going to scrap it. And the day of, like hours before they're supposed to meet, Hugh Jackman calls and says he wants to be part of the movie as Wolverine. Ah, that's And that's huge. how we got it. That is huge. Right. Okay, now yeah. there was a lot of speculation with this movie mm -hmm. about some females that might have been in it. Can I? Uh, I mean, I don't want to say anything that spoils it, you know. Okay, so that way no, you go exactly. I, you know, but. All I'll say is that as someone who hasn't seen the movie, so this mm -hmm. is not spoiling anything, there was a lot of like the, yeah. conversations of if one of those right. females was going to be Taylor Swift, I, Blake Lively. Mm -hmm. I will knows? say, I am very impressed at how under wraps they kept a lot of these. Oh, and I wouldn't even say they're cameos. If they appear in this movie, they're part of the storyline. You know, even if it's a small part, they're not there just to be a little throwaway cameo, like for fans. Just for fun. It's yeah. they're they're intentional about the place. Yes. So honestly, okay. very good. Um, in an interview, Reynolds actually said the original title too was supposed to be Deadpool and Friend. Very Deadpool fitting. Yeah. But literally the night before the first trailer aired at the Super Bowl this year, it was leaked online and fans did not like the title apparently. Oh. And so they changed it to Deadpool and Wolverine. <laughs> I love when the fans get involved and they're like, we don't like that. Right? And they're like, okay, get back to the drawing right. board really fast. And I have to say, the promotional campaign for this movie, so good. It's literally on all my stuff. I TikTok, swipe, 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 Deadpool, Deadpool, Same Deadpool. Same for me. And those are not, like, that kind of mm -hmm. content is not in my repertoire usually. Right. But I, even I saw all the promotions for it. It's, it's going to be the movie of the year, honestly. All right. And Honestly, it's already the eighth highest grossing film of this year. Are you ready? And, and it's only okay. been out for, what, four or five days now? Yeah, not a long yeah. time at all. Worldwide, it's already made four $438.3 with a budget of $200 million. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so, casual. Don't, yeah, you know, and it, no we've still got a while for it to go, so it's just going to keep on your rising. Okay. Okay, so moving away from Deadpool. Yes. We have another R-rated movie that okay. was last week's AMC screen and scene. So it actually comes out this weekend. Okay. But to let you know, it's called Kneecap. Okay. And it's a comedy drama that follows Belfast teacher into the orbit of a self-confessed low-life scum. The needle drops on a hip-hop act like no other, rapping in their native Irish language that leads to a movement to save their mother tongue. You know, when you said kneecap, there was no part of me that thought any of that right, right. was going to follow. Yes. But okay, so I'm, you've got my attention. That's what the group is called. They're literally called kneecap. 
and it depicts how the group came to be formed and how they created their sound. And the three members of the group actually act as themselves. It's their acting debut, and I would never have known. I thought That's they were great. Very interesting. The movie's very funny and very enjoyable. It's very vulgar. Okay. And it's it is in Irish and English, so you're gonna have a lot of subtitles and everything. Ooh. Um, and did you know? The Irish wasn't the official language of Northern Ireland until December 6th, 2022. <laughs> Wait, until 2022? Yeah, when what? the UK Parliament f finally passed the Identity and Language Northern Ireland Act. Before that, Irish was a minority language with 10.65% of Northern Irish people claiming to know some knowledge of the language and only 02 speaking it as their vernacular. I never would have guessed that. So this kind of follows how kneecap was a part of the movement to get with Irish yeah. and like introduce Irish hip hop. It had a bit of a role in that. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's honestly a very fun movie. It's actually the first Irish language film to premiere at the Sundance Film Festival. Hey, okay. So, and it releases this Friday, like I said, so, you know, R-rated, don't take the kids, yeah, but so you might enjoy it. Yeah, so don't take the kiddos, but very, yeah. that, that's a very unique um, concept mm -hmm. of a movie. Yeah. I've not heard anything like that, so I'll have to add that to my list you as well. You definitely should. So coming out also this weekend with Kneecap, okay. we have Trap, which is the new M. Night Shyamalan movie. <gasps> Ooh, okay, okay. Harold and the Purple Crown. Okay. Sing Sing and Coup. Okay. So some quite a few movies. Yeah, we've got a Guys, lot to add know, to our uh, to-do list. Yeah. And then also streaming, mm -hmm. Challengers is now out on MGM Ooh, Plus. Okay. If you have that, if you do, yeah. If you, there's so many streaming platforms, so we won't blame you if right. you don't have that one. And then Friday on Disney Plus, we have Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Ooh, okay. So quite a bit happening this weekend. There's in theaters a and lot out. going on. So you recommend all of these. We need oh, to absolutely. we need to check them out. Yeah. All right. Well, producer Charlie, thank you for keeping us in the know on what's going on of in the course. world of movies because uh, we love your reviews. Oh, we respect you. them highly. <laughs> all right. Well, there's more Ozarks Live coming up. Stick around.